Welcome to Daily Prayer for Friday 8th May. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. If we have eyes to see, we discern signs and wonders you are doing all the time, O God. We offer you our praise and thanks. Amen. A reading from the Book of Acts. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freed men, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, this man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Stephen, remember, had been appointed to lead the group which was looking after the daily distribution of food to widows. In other words, his task was practical. It is encouraging to hear that his discharge of this duty counted as doing wonders and signs among the people. It is not necessarily in the spectacular but in the ordinary work of service with love that we see the signs of a wonderful God at work in the world. But there are always people who react against such goodness and love, who are jealous and motivated by destructiveness. Stephen encountered that. Malicious people made false accusations against him. Their big fear seems to have been that he was calling for changes to the way things were, as they put it, changing the customs that Moses handed on. The people who feel threatened by change are often the people who fear they will lose out. As this pandemic continues, there are growing calls for change, change to a system which values health and well-being over profit and wealth. Those longing for change are the ill, the poor, the disadvantaged. Those who will resist are those who have had it good, the wealthy. A big struggle awaits, as it did for Stephen. Let us pray. O Prince of Peace, on this anniversary of VE Day and in this time of global pandemic, we are so aware of our dependence on one another. We lament the ideologies and hatreds which give rise to war and pray for common understanding and peace among all people. As we hear of many thousands dying, often needlessly, from viral infection, we lament all death and destruction which has been wrought by human beings against one another. Through the threat we all face, make us better people, people who pursue peace and justice and equity in love, people who deplore the rhetoric of demagogues and strong men, people who desire and work for the well-being of all. As we learn to love better, 
We express our love in our prayers for all people and this whole world that you have created. Praying through our friend and brother Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for ever. Amen. And the blessing of God, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit, be upon us all. Amen.